If you're looking for the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins on the market, be sure to check out AOEAH.com. Be sure to use discount code DSG at checkout for 3% off your order. Link will be in the description and the pinned comment down below. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is DSG or Command today with another Madden 22 video. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys some of the best coin making methods right now in Madden 22. In case you guys didn't know, here on the channel, all I do is post no money spent methods. So if you're looking for coin strength, points or XP, this is the place to be. Because like I said, all I do is post no money spent methods. As always, if you have any questions and want to talk about in today's video, make sure you leave a comment down below and answer comments as possible. Now, let me just say right now, I have not posted in about the last week or so. Number one, uh, here's the reason. Number one, I committed to be a college baseball player this week. Verbally committed. I will update you guys on the college I committed to later on. You guys will find out. I know some of you will be, will be asking. So, yes, I committed to be a college baseball player. Biggest accomplishment in my life. Uh, and number two, I had finals for school. So that just kind of took over some time, too. So the baseball thing really took a lot of time because there's a lot of phone calls, a bunch of garbage going on, stuff like that. So a lot of things going on. I uh, hope you guys can understand, right? Now let's get into the coin making method stuff. Uh, videos will, I, I, they're going to start coming back up to normal now. Like normal uploads, stuff like that, they're going to be back to normal, so you can look forward to that. So let me get into the first method here, okay? How have I been making coins while I've been gone? Uh, let me explain to you guys what I've been doing. So I have been opening up a lot of pro fantasy packs. That has been my thing that I've been doing. Pro fantasy packs have been the way to go for me right now. I would just open up one right now. I just opened up a couple before I got in this video, and I'll show you guys what I pulled from those packs. Now... Most of the time, you're not going to pull that much good stuff. Like, you, you'll be lucky to pull an Elite, or more than one Elite. Usually, you pull, like, one Elite per uh, thing. I skip through most of these animations because usually it's, like, a lot of golds and silvers, and that's fine, right? Let me show you guys how to make coins from these golds and silvers, though. Okay, I think I, I didn't pick the best possible stuff, did I? Oh, I did. Okay, we're good. So, just pick the highest overall stuff, obviously. This could be something really good. It could be, like, an 83, which can be an 85. That's fine. All right? Just pick the highest overall cards. It's fine if you if you only pull one elite. Like right here, we're looking to make 5,000 coins back from each pack before we do any exchanging or anything like that. So right there, that's about 5,000 coins probably. Uh, we can just sell him right now, to be honest. We can probably just sell him instantly. I'll just do that. So he's probably about 5K. 3,000, 5,000, whatever. Also, I'm up him up for five. Hopefully he sells before the video ends, right? So number one, if you have like an 80, you know, if you have like uh, cards in the mid 80s, high 80s, 90s, right? Sell those cards. All right, sell those cards. You're really going to make about 5,000 coins back per pack. That rhymes. Uh, each pack, though. So you're looking to make 5,000 back per pack. All right, now with all these, like, 81 or 80 to 82s and, you know, these golds and all that garbage, right? How are you going to make coins with all this, gar with this terrible stuff, right? There's nothing to do. So here's what you need, you, you need to do. You need to go into sets, and you need to do team builders. You can do team builders 1, team builders 2, whatever you want. I think you do need a little bit higher overall cards for these team builders, too. Uh, if we just go to like the Raiders, for example, usually they go for a little more. I guess I could have done Cowboys too. But yeah, you need 85 to 86. So I guess if you're, if you're looking to do this one, you can do 85s. Personally, I don't think this is as profitable as doing the Team Builders 1. There is still profit to be made from Team Builders 1. It's not as much coins, you know, every time you do this, but it's still profitable. Okay, it's still profitable. Also, I have not had time to look through the Team Diamonds 2 sets yet, but there are going to be sets in this promo. That can make you a lot of coins. Obviously, we have Luke Kuechly as our as our uh, our boss here, our ultimate champion, whatever you want to call it, uh, diamond champion, right? But there are probably going to be coins we made from some of these sets right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to look through all these sets, or you know, a majority of these sets, and see which guys are going to give you the most profit if there is profit to be made. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do that probably off camera, and I am sure some of these guys are going to give uh, are going to be profitable. So if you guys pull any cards for a team that you were looking to do. Right, honestly, if you pull any cards right now in general that are in any of these rankings right here, I would say you can sell the 85s, but like 86 and up, keep them. All right, keep just keep them until I upload my next video. I will update you guys on which sets are the best to complete. So any 86 and over overall cards, you know, 86 and up, right? Hold on to them because I'm going to look through most of these sets and see which one is most profitable. So I will update you guys which player is the most profitable by the end of this. So these, these, these are little sets here will be profitable, most likely. Most likely, there's going to be some of these guys you make coins off of. So stay tuned for that. Uh, anything 85 and under, put into those team uh, these team builder sets. Anything 86 and up, save for when I update you guys on the team diamond set. So team builder sets you guys want to do. Team builders 1 and 2, whatever you want, go ahead and do those. With those golds and silvers that you, don't, uh, that you aren't able to put into those sets, just simply come over here and do the ex these exchanges. J just exchange up to 85s or even 86s if you want, doesn't matter. Uh, 85 and 86 right exchange up to this one probably uh, You could also just exchange to an 80 and do the team builders one set as well 
all right it, it's up to you and it, it really doesn't matter what you want to do so uh you can also pull some pretty expensive power-ups i don't know if you can pull platinums out of these i really don't know one thing that i do like about the pro fantasy packs right now is i feel like there are more platinums in the packs right now i could be wrong but last night i opened about five to six of those pro fantasy packs and i pulled uh two platinums so they weren't high overall platinums it's just an 82 and then an 80 but still we love platinums right so let me let me just show you guys what i've been pulling for my pro fantasy packs i opened three before this video and obviously i just opened one at the beginning of the video i believe right yeah i opened one so uh let me see how far does this go down I, I did not pull this card before the video i think it was right about here at this kenny moore so this kenny moore and up i haven't pulled a ton of elites i pulled an eddie jackson obviously uh and then you know 84 81 80 these guys we're just going to put in his sets this 84 i could put into the team builders two set or if you sell them for like five thousand or more i could just sell him obviously he's not he's only selling for two thousand so what do we do with that we just put him into the team builders two set and we get rid of him it's that easy we just get rid of him or if we want to be really crazy and try to complete some of the Team Diamonds 2 sets, we put this guy into an exchange where we get him up to like, we try to get, you know, 86, 87 or higher overall players to do a certain team set, right? We could do that as well. But what I'm going to end up doing eventually, just, I'm not going to do it on camera because it can take too long, but I'm going to put all these guys into exchange sets and build my way back up uh, to, to doing Team Builder sets or Team Diamond sets here in the future. So that's how I've been making my coins. Uh, those packs were not very good that I just opened. The pack's been really weird. Like, I had a streak not that long ago. It was probably right after I stopped uploading. I, I was pulling, I pulled like 294s. It was when the Campus Heroes came out. 294s. Uh, it was Billy Joe Dupree. I pulled him twice. And I pulled like a 91 team of the week. And then I'll go through spurts where I don't pull anything. And then I'll pull, you know, a bunch of decent players. And then I won't pull anything at all. So it's kind of weird. Uh, also, I think more more uh, power, up pla or power up players are in packs right now. So that's another thing I've noticed. I'm going to open this up real quick because I have no reason to hold on to it. But... Uh, I'm going to look through all of these all of these uh, Team Diamond sets, and I'm going to see which ones go for the most. I love that animation, by the way. Love the animation. So make sure you guys are doing your predictor sets as well. Uh, obviously, you can profit from that. So make sure you guys are staying up to date with those. Also, if you're looking to make coins, do the obvious things like play weekend league, play two, uh, two head-to-head seasons per week. I do like a, you know, a little criteria that I try to follow when I was playing this game seriously, uh, where I try to play two head-to-head seasons per week and then just play one weekend league games. And you can make about 500,000 coins per week just by doing that. So be sure to try to do that, guys. Uh, that is pretty much it for this video. I'm going to get more into Madden here probably tonight and just study the game a little more. And uh, hopefully by the next video, I will have more like in-depth, under-the-radar coin videos for you guys. This was just a basic one, uh, something I've just been doing you know, during, during the past couple of days. So my next video will definitely be more in-depth and probably a little more under-the-radar, something that people don't really talk about as much. So be sure to look for my next video because I will be looking around this promo and looking around the game to try to find some nice coin making methods. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm gonna do my shout out today. Now, in case you guys don't know, I shout out every single one of my comments. All you have to do to get shouted out in my next video is comment on this one. So here are all the shout outs from the last video. We have, uh, gotta pull it up right now. We have, I don't even know how to spell your name, but Toto uh, VT, or VFT BIUM, BUIM, whatever. Uh, Nathan Wildman, Parker Jameson, George Washington, Man Up 87, Yolkface, The Athletic Nation, uh, Braden is a Delilah, Mule Dolphin Thing, uh, Hunt Awakens, Moopin Fiji, uh, Verge Crazy, and Fortnite Gameplays. Thank you all so much for commenting on this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Stay safe for me, and peace out.